It's harvest time on Noble Mountain. A flurry of work fills slope and sky. The air fresh with the scent of fir trees and turbine exhaust. The sounds of hard work and chopper blades are deafening. Men gather cut trees and pile them together so they can be lifted up on slings and taken to your living room by way of the central Oregon skies. The steep terrain makes it impossible to harvest these trees any other way. We have some very challenging terrain up here. 60% slopes get slick with mud. The farm goes on as far as the eye can see. This farm is a, an extremely large farm. It's about two miles long. For Bob Schaefer and his staff at the Noble Mountain Tree Farm, helicopters are the only way to get the job done. We have high expectations of our pilots. We want good production pilots. We're working literally seven days a week, daylight to dark. It's an all-day effort, and it's anything but routine. On a perfect run, the helicopter is in constant motion. The pilot slinging the hook to a man on the ground, who latches the bundle and then gets out of the way. It's one constant torque turn in a dance between the field and the truck. This mountain may be scenic, but it's anything but a joyride. You're no longer flying the aircraft, you're flying the hook. Ty Burlingham is the chief pilot for Precision Helicopters. He's leaning out the door of this Bell Jet Ranger, waging war on the wood below with cyclic and collective. So as soon as you come off the truck, your head goes out into the field, trying to find your hook tender. Uh, when the fields are clear cut like the one we've been in today, it's a lot easier. Um, you're looking for the high-vis vest and just head right toward them. Uh, after that, you want to get an idea of where your hook's at. So is it swinging behind you? Is it left or right? And you want to kind of get the hook centered underneath the aircraft before you decelerate into the hook tender. And then once you start your deceleration, you're kind of steering the hook right to his hand. At least that's the goal. The motion continues to a waiting truck. They may look big, but it's not an easy target. As a couple of pilots have said who've just begun, it's like trying to, you know, fly, fly into a postage stamp. Not only do these pilots have to be precise, they need to be fast. Every second the helicopter is flying costs the farm about 24 cents. So yes, they measure it in seconds. They expect each chopper to pull between six and 10,000 trees every day. Each load is between six and 15 trees, targeting 600 pounds of festive fur per 20 second haul. Helicopters have the capacity to, to lift more, but it's more efficient to have, have five or 600 pounds where they can move quickly rather than be having to fight the helicopter to stay in the air. It's a delicate balance requiring unique utility flying skills, but the labor is rewarded with smiles of strangers the pilots never even get to see. It's fun to think about how many thousands of families we touch with this aircraft every year. It's extremely gratifying to grow Christmas trees. Our first year in business, we developed a tag and it said this tree was grown expressly to bring the joy of Christmas into your home. And that's our philosophy. A joy of Christmas with beautiful trees, slung by skilled pilots. In the Eola Hills near Salem, Oregon, Paul Harrop, AOPA Live.